Carlton Morris scored what was deemed perhaps a controversial penalty to earn Luton their first point of the season. That is after Wolves had led through Pedro Neto. Both goals came in the second half after visitors had also had a man sent off before half time. Um, let's hear from the Wolves manager, Gary O'Neill, who spoke about that penalty that was given to Luton. It's fair to say he's not happy. We've been sent all the rules. We've been told how things are going to work this season. I checked them on my phone straight after the game. Mitigating circumstances for handball is if it hits the same player and changes trajectory. I mean, the change of trajectory when it's hit his leg to then hit his arm is incredible. Um, the reason they're giving me for it being given still is that his arm's a long way from his body, which I get. I get that. If the ball's gone directly from the opponent's foot to Zhao's hand when his hand is where it is, I accept that we may suffer a penalty at that point. The fact that it's his leg and possibly his chest, Jao says it sort of clipped off somebody. But that's the third, the, the hand is the third body part that's hit. So yeah, it can't be a penalty. If that's a penalty, the rules are in a really, really bad place. So extremely disappointed because the lads loot and created nothing once we went down to 10 men and the lads deserve to win the game with a fantastic counter goal. Um, I agree with a lot there. I don't agree with the end of it. Yeah, I was going to say, I think Luton probably did deserve something yeah. out of the game. I mean, they created far more than Wolves. I mean, they had 20 chances in the game, for example. I think, And Wolves didn't even get to double figures. Um, the penalty, though, was contentious. And I've seen plenty of reaction on social media to it. I think our very own Gabby Agbonlahor does think it was a penalty. I don't know if that's an anti-Wolves agenda. Uh, no, it's, ne it's never a penalty. It, it does seem incredibly harsh when it has deflected off Gomez himself. This all comes um, from uh, Issa Kabore trying to put the ball into the box. Yeah. It, it deflects off Gomez and then does strike mm. his arm, which is in an unnatural maybe position, let's argue. But also I thought that there was a question of proximity and how close he is to the action. Yeah. and. If that was given against my team, I would I would feel aggrieved by that. I think Gary O'Neill explains it really well. And, you know, going through all the, you know, going through it with the referees sort of association as they send everything and all the trajectory of the ball and unnatural position. I can, you can't give a penalty when the ball clearly comes off his leg at quite a quick speed, mm. Gomez, and hits his arm. Who's, you know, how is that unnatural in the position where you're trying to block a shot? Um, and it's and it's a deflected <laughs> deflected off his leg. I don't get how you can give that as a penalty. I agree with everything Gary O'Neill says, except for the uh, result and the performance, because yeah. Luton were on the front foot from the very off of the game, went straight for the jugular against Wolves, and they were suffering. Mm. It was a tough... Now, OK, you can win games 1-0 by a decision. Um, you know, sorry, a decision going against you. It, obviously, I would be aggrieved by that. But... Um, uh, that's unfortunately the game now. The, the 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 penalty that me and you talk about week in week out yes. is a common conversation literally every Sunday. Or if you're working Monday, you're talking about the same thing about penalty decisions. Mm. They're just they're just too common, and some of them are how he can give it. I just do not know. I look at it and think you you have seen the deflection of the foot that takes it to his hand, and whether it comes off another part of his body, well maybe. Gomez, I just think it's not pain. It's a hard one, isn't it? Because we talk about deliberate action and, and essentially are you trying to con the game by mm. handballing to, to try and, you know, obviously stop a, a shot or whatever, um, which clearly is not the case in the Gomez situation at all. It does, It's completely accidental. You, you can see that, obviously. Uh, for whatever reason, the referee, Josh Smith, did decide it was a penalty and I think the VAR was John Brooks and he agreed with that decision. 